Hmm. Doubts? Uh, what was the question again there? <laughs> <laughs> the road team. See, that's when you know you're a superstar. You're like, I don't care. I'll play anywhere. But we'll play uh, in the parking lot. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't know. That's Are awesome. You? Let's talk superstitions, like the culture of the playoffs, the like essence of the playoffs, more superstition routines. I know we talked about this off camera. I see you in warm-up. I see your 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 process. Let's just put it that way. We won't call it a superstition, your process. Routine. Your routine. I like that. I like this. So your routine that you go through, you do your thing, but you do that all season long. You don't tweak that in the playoffs, do you? Or no, do you? everything's the same. Everything's the same. Everything stays the same. He's got some funny ones. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Okay. So what do you do? So what about locker room? You get to the rink. Walk us through your oh kind God. of. Oh God. You want to start that? We got far enough back. tape. <laughs> do we have enough, tape? enough room? <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, I get dressed the same way. Everything. Everything for me is about time. Right. Um, you know, I stretch at the same time. I ride the bike for the same amount of minutes. Uh, uh, what else do I do? Uh, I get dressed left foot first, everything mm -hmm. left side first, uh, touch all the doors on the way out. <laughs> uh, yeah, and the list goes on and on. Now, do any of the guys ever mess around with you? Yeah. Well, they, they can't try. now. You're a yeah, I mean, grizzled superstar vet, but... Yeah, I, they try. They <laughs> tried in the past, and they just gave up. Right, right. Uh, I don't have too many suits. I try to just wing it. Whatever happens, happens. Yeah. But it's funny, like, you know, I've played with Sid. Sid's got a ton of superstitions. Do like, tell. Do tell. You know, he walks in the same door that he walks out, and it's it's just, some of the stuff is just like... He has that jock from, like, when he was oh six my. years old. It's this big. The same jock. No. Are you serious? Like, it's stretched. Like, no. you just stretch the band like <laughs> this. I don't even think it covers anything. Like, it's just, no way. There's no way. It's, it's just, just kind of like... It's kind of yeah. like, there's this thing is... Oh, well, no. I don't, I don't know how anybody could wear that, but... That's funny. No, it's just yeah, funny how guys have the same do the same things. I'm like, I can't even remember what I did mm. before, you know? Right. But, um, no, it's, it's, it's part of the game. Yeah, just uh, trying to have that same consistency, I think, every game. It kind of made, for me, at least, just kind of eases your mind a little bit. So if, um, when you get there, for me, I just tape my stick in the same sort of spot and then uh, go through my warm-up at the same time and more just like, like Paris said, just at the, the timing of everything, I try to just have that right so then you feel, don't feel in a rush and right. feel ready to go once uh, you're heading out there. Let's double down on that stick tape because I know the way you tape yeah. your stick. Yeah. You tape it a little bit up the, up a little the, bit up, up the, the shaft, a little, little bit, a little bit up the heel. A little bit up the just heel. throw all the goalies off. You're doing yeah, that HOSA. Yeah, exactly. That's what HOSA yeah. used to do. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. When did you get into that? Uh, that's how my dad always used to tape my stick. So no I way. Know. So I don't know. He's he's Dutch. So I don't know if he just didn't know how to tape a hockey stick or what. <laughs> that's <but>. awesome. That's <laughs> but so no, cool. He, he started doing that uh, early on, and then I just started to mess around with it. And I when I, when I stopped doing it, I kind of realized I liked it better. So I switched back to it, and mm. that's been good. If and when you guys are eliminated, are you guys watching or no? Watching playoffs? Paying attention. Yeah. yeah, for sure. See what's going on. I mean. There's a bit of jealousy there when you watch other teams celebrating wins. Sure, like yeah. I don't usually like watching that part of it. Turn maybe turn it off. But yeah, uh, yeah you always want to know what's going on. Mm -hmm. and keep keep tabs for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I watch the games. There's nothing else really to do at nighttime <laughs> right now. <laughs> but uh, to be honest, like I'll watch a few periods, but I end up going to the basketball game. Who's your team? Are you a Lakers guy or a G State? Cleveland. Who's Really? Well, they're not my team right now. I'm cheering right. For them. Right now, you're playing yeah, for the LeBron. Raptors are my team. Well, yeah, my team. I just love LeBron, so I, I'm yeah. cheering for them. JBR? Uh, yeah, I'm watching, uh, checking it out. Usually, right after you get eliminated, you take a few days to sort of uh, get your bearings straight, and then uh, from there, you uh, maybe tune in and see, uh, check it out, what's going on. I'm the same. Once, uh, you know, I'll, I'll watch at night. Mm. Uh, I'll flip between the hockey and baseball, and basketball. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll move around, but you're, you're, you know what's going on. You're paying attention. Of course. What about this trend that we've seen so far in the Stanley Cup playoffs this year? Road teams. Road teams winning as many games as they are. What do you guys attribute that to? Is there any one, is there any one reason? I, I think that's more like to, to say what the league's all about today. You know, there's a lot of parity today in, in the league. You know, it's you know, a team like Colorado, right. you know, with the, what they did last year, and, like, look at them this year. And, you know, you look at teams that were in, you know, a team like Chicago that, you know, didn't get in and how good they were. It's just, I think the league's so close today that, you know, Vegas Golden Knights, you know, yeah. <laughs> what they're doing. Like, sure. nobody at this table could have said they're going you know, to be in the Stanley Cup Finals right, right. now. And I just, it's just, I think it says the parity in, in the game today is, is, is so good. So, 
I think that has a lot to do with it. It doesn't matter if you're on the road or home. Our team seems to always be better on the road, and that's something we've been trying to figure out how to get better at home because mm. so many other teams have that advantage at home, which we don't really have and we need to kind of create. Um, I don't know, it's just, you just feel more loose going in on the road. It's, it's just as fun scoring, I think, in front of your own fans as is silencing a building. I think it's, you know, it's just as rewarding for me. And um, yeah, you, you go, go on the road, especially early in the series, just trying to steal one game if you're that road team. And it seems like teams have been able to do that. And that's why, you know, they're usually winning the series. But uh, yeah, I don't know what the reason is. JBR? Yeah, I don't know. I, I think I saw uh, Marty St. Louis had an interesting tweet yeah, about that. that. Yeah, where he's like, yes. uh, there's less, you have to worry a little bit less about maybe matchup stuff and you yeah. just kind of play a little bit more and maybe there's something to that. But again, everything's so close now and it seems like most nights it's a coin flip with how close the league is. So that probably speaks to that more so than anything. No doubt. Yeah, Marty talked about it being uh, checkers on the road at chess at home. He said checkers a lot more fun. So <laughs> I'm quoting him. <laughs> That's a good, Next good one. Next stop for yeah, right? Next yeah. stop for him is Hall of Fame. So uh, I, that makes a lot of sense. We've now, we were talking a lot about how fast the league is and how much speed's in the league now and a lot of these young guys that are pushing the pace and coaches want guys that play faster. But in the playoffs, they don't, it doesn't necessarily seem to be a, as much of a speed game as such. There's still body, there's still position, there's still contact, there's still battle. Is there a big difference between the pace in the playoffs for that reason and the regular season from your standpoint? Yeah, I think the game quick. Um, you know, it's not so much guys are skating quicker. I think guys are moving the puck quicker and, and guys are smarter nowadays that, you know, they they can find those holes and, and make plays without, you know, before it happens. And um, I think that's how you play quick. You know, obviously there's guys in this league that can skate. You know, you got McDavid out there, you know, flying Spider around. <laughs> Skate so fast. Fastest person I've ever seen on seas. Usain Bolt on the ice. Yeah. It's crazy. So you got guys like him, but, you know, that make the game quick. But uh, at the same time, it's, it gets a D moving the puck to the forwards, and the forwards making plays from, from there. That makes the game real quick.